Adverbs Adverbs describe verbs, actions. They give more detail about the action. My cat eats slowly. Slowly is an adverb, since it describes the way my cat eats. How does my cat eat? Slowly. Adverbs will generally answer the question how. Some adverbs are used to modify an adjective. Adverbs that do this are very, extremely, really, totally, absolutely, quite, fairly, well. These are normally placed before the adjective. It was very hot yesterday. He is totally crazy. Types of adverbs There are many types of adverbs such as Adverbs of manner Carefully, slowly. Adverbs of time. Here, yesterday, then. An adverb of time tells us when something is done or happens. We use it at the beginning or at the end of a sentence. We use it as a form of emphasis when we place it at the beginning. Adverbs of time include afterwards, already, always, immediately, last month, now, soon, then, and yesterday. He collapsed and died yesterday. His factory was burned down a few months ago. Last week we were stuck in the lift for an hour. Adverbs of place. An adverb of place tells us where something is done or happens. We use it after the verb, object, or at the end of a sentence. Adverbs of place include words such as above, below, here, outside, over there, there, under, upstairs. We can stop here for lunch. The schoolboy was knocked over by a school bus. They rushed for their lives when fire broke out in the floor below. Adverbs of relative time. Recently, already, soon. Relative adverbs. Where, when, why. The relative adverbs where is used after nouns that refer to places. The house where Mozart was born is now a museum. Defining relative clothes. I flew to Munich where I had to catch another plane to Oslo. Non-defining relative clothes. The relative adverb when is used after nouns that refer to times and dates. I can't remember a time when I was so happy. Defining relative clothes. The most stressful day of the week is Monday, when people go back to work. Non-defining relative clothes. The relative adverb why is used after reason. The reason why I didn't call you is that I have lost your phone number. Only in defining relative clause. Adverbs of degree. An adverb of degree tells us the level or extent that something is done or happens. Words of adverb of degree are almost, much, nearly, quite, really, so, to, very, rather, extremely, etc. It was too dark for us to find our way out of the cave. Before adjective. The referee had to stop the match when it began to rain very heavily. Before adverb. Her daughter is quite fat for her age. 
the accident victim nearly died from his injuries. After all these years, she is still feeling very sad about her father's death. Adverb of frequency. An adverb of frequency tells us how often something is done or happens. Words used as adverb of frequency include again, almost, always, ever, frequently, generally, hardly ever, nearly, nearly always, never, occasionally, often, rarely, seldom, sometimes, twice, usually, and weekly. They were almost 50 when they got married. He hardly ever says something nice to his wife. While overseas, he frequently phoned home. She is not nearly always right, although she thinks she is always right. He complained that she never smiled back. We only write to each other very occasionally. Peter seldom reads the Bible. Sometimes he stayed late in the office to complete his work. Our cat was beaten twice by the same dog. The man usually proposes marriage. Adverbs of quantity A few, a lot, much. Adverbs of attitude Fortunately, apparently, clearly. Adverbs are usually placed after the verb. He speaks clearly. When there is an object, the adverb is usually placed after the verb plus object. I put the vase carefully on the table. However, adverbs are never positioned between the verb and the object. I read the book quickly. Correct. I read quickly the book. Incorrect. Sometimes adverbs are placed at the beginning of a clause. Quickly, I change my opinion. Comparative and superlative adverbs. With adverbs ending in ly, you must use more to form the comparative and most to form the superlative. Look at the table. Adverb. Quietly. Comparative. More quietly. Superlative. Most quietly. Slowly. More slowly. Most slowly. Seriously. More seriously. Most seriously. Examples. The teacher spoke more slowly to help us to understand. Could you sing more quietly, please? With short adverbs that do not end in ly, comparative and superlative forms are identical to adjectives. Add er to form the comparative and est to form the superlative. If the adverb ends in e, remove it before adding the ending. Look at the table. Adverb hard comparative harder superlative hardest fast faster fastest late later latest high higher highest examples jim works harder than his brother everyone in the race run fast but john runs the fastest of all some adverbs have irregular comparative and superlative form. Look at the table. Adverb badly, comparative, worse, superlative, worst. Far, farther, further. Farthest, furthest. Little, less, least. Well, better, best. Examples. The little boy ran farther than his friends. You are driving worse today than yesterday. 
he played the best of any player. Let's have some trial tests now. You have to choose right answer. James is careful. He drives. A. Careful. B. More carefully. C. Carefully. D. Carefully. E. Most carefully.